looks like hard work really does get rewarded. Hyman's gonna take her time and save her every bite. What would you like to do this afternoon? Knowing child, he must have been there all the time. Take it easy. Take it easy. You must be the Traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but, uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> but we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Okay, great. Let me walk you through the rules. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. But the second you mess up the order, you'll lose. Game over. The game costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Thanks for your patronage, mate. Now, let the game begin! Okay, do your best to hit the targets, just like Colin said! Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in any official fights. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. However, you two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we can probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Huh. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? What? I... <sighs> Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? <sighs> you're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. <sighs> Might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Uh, is it that serious? Okay. The hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. 
So the rule is that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight. But if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by... How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died, or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. In his eyes, supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor the competition itself. So you mean, it's like, a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? No, he was always wearing a mask, like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... Huh? We will? You're not serious, are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. Uh, seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit coupons. If you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. Oh, looks like we won't get a chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you have planned for us? After working here so long, we're we put doing the same thing. Yeah. you here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another map. Who are the boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... Huh? F for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. Maybe you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... Oh, no need, no need. Um, we're aware that we're going to lose coupons. All right then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupons. Seems we had a 
productive day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. Hey, Traveler. Paimon. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Huh? A package? For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? <laughs> ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? <laughs> Alright! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers! Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. Huh? Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe you let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! Huh? What is it? Are you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek, too. Oh, it's just a small bottle. But the color of the liquid inside looks so... wrong. Almost like... Alright, that's enough of that! No need to say it out loud! Paimon already knows what you're trying to say! Ugh! No way! Get that stuff away from Paimon! Uh, Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? What do you have planned for us? Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons! Let's make the most of our morning! no way to send it all out. Maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I I'm not! Of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did you run into? Ugh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that duke. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. I'm just gonna stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. But as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> Anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? Uh, well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know I should just let it go. I'm on his turf after all. His house, his rules.
what are these papers scattered all over the ground? Are they registration forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fontico symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. Hey, I, I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I, did anything happen? Well, the next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are, are you both still okay? Wait, are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? Uh... Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the events? Paimon thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the forges of Meropede. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? gotten used to prison life yet? Shh. Save the questions for now. I don't like to give away information for no reason, you know. shouldn't get her hopes up. What would you like to do this afternoon? <laughs> Half 
after working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Paimon oh, still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? Really? Huh. Then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so... many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. today. Ah. Seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. Impressive. Very impressive. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Something even more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. Cannibals? In the Fortress of Meripede? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. But... What's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Uh, Paimon might already know what you mean by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. <laughs> You two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Oh! So that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Oh, when will all the secrets end? But the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them! <sighs> Just stay away from me. 
What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon! So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Okay, if you say so!